it's happened again. We stalled out at the truck stop. Started the car. It drove for 10 minutes. Pulled into the truck stop and the engine shut off. Battery's good and um, fuel pump works. Just changed the, what do you call that? Camshaft position sensor. I have a crankshaft position sensor that I wanna uh, replace too. But that's under the van and I have to move the AC compressor out of the way and I don't wanna do that here. I need a shop. One thing I think I may try out is uh, a fuel filter change. So I'm going to take out the fuse for the fuel pump right now and then change out the fuel filter. Exciting. Fuel pump fuse. Fuel pump relay. So I got to get this out and then take the pressure out of the the lines. Also while I was looking in here, it's all dusty. I do see little footprints. Little critters are in here now. You can see right there a few prints and all along here, all along here. I already wiped them down. And then um, there was a bunch of prints here too. But there's no signs of a nest, so I'm not going to be too concerned until I start seeing a nest. But we need to get this fuel filter changed because I think that's what's giving me my hard start still. I'm still having hard start problems. And the battery is usually 12.8, 12.9. The lowest it's been is 12.6, 12.5, and it still starts, but cranking hard. So what I was trying was just priming the, the pump a few times before I start the car and that'll work like it'll start right up but if I leave the the van off for a day or two uh, when I go to start it it takes a little bit to get it started so I'm gonna try to get this thing out fix that fuel filter and see how that works Arr. Got the fuse out. I use these. That's all I had. So I'll put this here. And here is my new fuel filter. Motocraft OEM only. And you need a special tool to get these out. I got this. And I think it's the 516th side. Basically, clamp that on there, like so, and then the fuel line should slide right off. And then, if I did the fuse right, the uh, fuel line should be empty. So you just go, comes right off. So now what I got to do is start the engine and get the fuel out of the line. Alright, well I started the engine and got the fuel pressure out. I think I got the fuel out of the line. Engine's not starting. So I think that's working. And that's exactly how it sounded. I didn't get it on camera. Of course I didn't hit the button. It's amateur hour here. Now I'm going to go under the van, get dirty, and get this filter off and replace it. Hit the like and subscribe if you want to like and subscribe. Jesus. There it is. Right here. So the van is tall enough. I don't need a jack. The guy that replaced my fuel filter in California it took him about an hour because I don't think he knew what he was doing so what you do is 
there's this clip up here push it down push this and now it's out of the way so I could just put the tool in here pull that back and fuel should start pouring out or there should be fuel because I took the pressure out it looks like this clip is all screwed up but we'll find out once I get this part off all right so I got the, the line off of the filter this camera that it just went out before you got to see all the exciting stuff the um, the fuel line came off on both sides and it was pretty simple what you got to do is get that clamp in there but then pull the fuel line not the pump pull the fuel line not the filter and that makes it easier I'll show you right now what that looks like just, uh... all right I wish you could have seen it but there it is all buttoned up the new filter in with the arrow foot pointing that way it's a little bit of fuel dripping I'll wipe that up and the clamps are on there so this side when I put it in it clicked on real good and then that side clicked on real good I don't know why the mechanic at the other shop it took him an hour to do this but this was my first and um, it took me 15 minutes to figure it out so let's look and see <sighs> Let's see how dirty this filter really was. Yeah, it's pretty clean. So maybe that wasn't my issue. I did some reading about this and if you're out here in the desert or camping a lot, you want to change your filter every time you change your oil. Um, if you're living in the city, it's every 50,000 miles, 20 to 50,000 miles you want to change this. But since we're in the dirt all the time, you want to change this frequently. So now I'm just looking at this filter and it looks fine. I've seen some videos where the uh, do this and it comes out muddy mine's coming out clean so I'm not sure if my starting issue is this it's coming out real clean we got a new filter down there now what I got to do is put the fuse back on and then prime the engine or prime the line or whatever you want to call it and then um, crank her and give her a start but I'm gonna wipe up the gas down here first 